Pinal poisons. Okay. These are the substances that alter the spinal cord function. Okay. So the first one we are looking at is Strychnus nux vomica or Cuchilla. Now the excitatory component in it is strychnine and the depressant is gelsemium. Okay. So strychnine is a powerful alkaloid present in the seeds of Strychnus nux vomica or Cuchilla. Okay. So the fruits are orange to look at round and hard and bear three to five seeds okay so the excitatory component in strychnus nux vomica is strychnine and the depressant is gelsemium okay so strychnine is an alkaloid now let's look at the active principles we know that there are three to five seeds in each fruit okay so these seeds contain strychnine brucin and loginin these are the active ingredients of the seeds okay now strychnine is many times more poisonous than brucin so strychnine is the strongest poison amongst all of these active ingredients now if you look at this picture this is how these strychnine seeds appear they are flat circular and disc shaped if you can notice it's looking like the rpc itself okay they are 6 millimeters thick and 2.5 centimeters in diameter now an important point here is just one crushed seed is fatal to the human being okay even one crushed seed of strychnus nux vomica is fatal now see these are the orange colored fruits that we were talking about okay so if you see here the seeds are light brown in color they are concave on one side and convex on the other side okay they resemble the rpc but they are convex on one side and concave on the other side so let's look at the mechanism of action it acts on the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord please make a note the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord are affected by strychnus nux vomica okay so by acting on that it depresses the inhibitory synaptic potentials of the spinal cord strychnine depresses the inhibitory synaptic potential so there is excessive excitation in the spinal cord and it also inhibits glycine and in turn causes a reflex excitation of the muscles so when there is a loss of inhibition and uninhibited excitation obviously we know it leads to muscle convulsions and this resembles tetanus see this is how a person who has undergone strychnine poison looks like okay it resembles tetanus and this is the posture so what do we call this posture it is known as tonus when there is backward bending of the spine we call it opisthotonus when there is forward flexion we call emprosthotonus and a lateral flexion is pleurosthotonus okay so e is followed by f so emprosthotonus forward flexion pleurosthotonus has l in it so it is for lateral flexion and the remaining opisthotonus is backward bending of spine so the treatment obviously will be anticonvulsants and before you come to the conclusion of the poisoning obviously we have to have a test to confirm so the sample for the test will be the urine 20% of nux vomica is excreted by urine without change we look for nux vomica poison in the urine of the patient so these are the important tests that are done wenzel's test please remember this name that is enough this is outdated now the frequently used tests these days are the thin layer chromatography and high pressure liquid chromatography it's the thin layer chromatography and high pressure liquid chromatography